Some locations that will experience flooding include Missouri Valley, Logan, Oakland, Attica, Carson, Shelby, Minden, Persia, Woodbine, Neola, Hancock, Portsmouth, Magnolia, Tennant, Farm Creek Public Wildlife Area, Willow Lake Recreation Area, Botana Bend Park, Arrowhead Park and Historical Village Welcome Center. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. In hilly terrain there are hundreds of low water crossings which are potentially dangerous in heavy rain. Do not attempt to cross flooded roads. Find an alternate route. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Pottawatomie County in southwestern Iowa, eastern Douglas County, until 2 p.m. At 8.01 a.m., Doppler radar indicated that heavy rain had fallen across the warned area, with rain expected to continue this morning. Radar estimates that amounts of 2 to 5 inches have already fallen. There have been reports of street flooding in Council Bluffs, with water halfway up on some cars. Some locations that will experience flooding include Omaha, Council Bluffs, Bellevue, La Vista, Ralston, Trainer, Underwood, Macedonia, Carter Lake, Crescent, McClellan, Old Town Park, Lake Manawa State Park, Hitchcock Nature Center and Narrows River Park. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report flooding to your local law enforcement agency when you can do so safely. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a flood warning for the Missouri River at Nebraska City. From Tuesday afternoon to Friday morning, or until the warning is canceled. At 11 p.m. Sunday, the stage was 16.4 feet, or 1.6 feet below flood stage. Flood stage is 18.0 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. Forecast, rise above flood stage by early Tuesday afternoon and continue to rise to near 19.2 feet by Wednesday morning. The river will fall below flood stage by early Friday morning. The following impacts are expected at 20.0 feet, though flooding is already ongoing. This is the level when flooding starts becoming more impactful, especially to agricultural areas. Flood warning information for the following counties in Iowa, Harrison, Mills, and Pottawatomie, and the following counties in Nebraska, Burt, Dodge, and Washington. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a flood warning for small streams in Monona County, Montgomery County in southwestern Iowa, Mills County in southwestern Iowa, Pottawatomie County in southwestern Iowa, Harrison County in southwestern Iowa, Shelby County in southwestern Iowa, Burt County, Eastern Cumming County in northeastern Nebraska, Washington County, northeastern Dodge County, Thurston County in northeastern Nebraska, until 2.45 p.m. At 8.51 a.m., Doppler radar and automated ring gauges indicated that heavy rain has fallen and continues to fall over the area. The heavy rain will cause flooding. Rain should end early this afternoon, however flooding will continue until the rain can work through the river systems. Up to three inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience flooding include Eastern Omaha, Council Bluffs, Blair, Red Oak, Glenwood, Harlan, Onawa, Missouri Valley, Tekema, Logan, Avica, Arlington, Malvern, Trainer, Underwood, Fort Calhoun, Scribner, Lyons, Hunter, and Carson. Stay away or be swept away. River banks and culverts can become unstable and unsafe. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of southwest Iowa, west central Iowa, east central Nebraska, northeast Nebraska, and southeast Nebraska. For today and tonight, showers and a few scattered thunderstorms will continue today. Areas of heavy rain are expected, with additional amounts reaching 1 to 3 inches. Flash flooding is possible, especially in southeast Nebraska and southwest Iowa. Severe storms are not expected. Minor flooding will continue along the Missouri River upstream of Lewis and Clark Lake in northwest Knox County. And now the extended outlook for the period Tuesday through Sunday scattered thunderstorms are possible on Friday. 
Minor flooding will continue along the Missouri River upstream of Lewis and Clark Lake in northwest Knox County. But please pass along any rain amounts of over two inches or other significant reports, including flooding. This is NOAA All Hazards Radio Station KIH 61 in Omaha, Nebraska. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Chance of showers 90%. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers until midnight, then partly cloudy after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Gusts up to 30 miles an hour until midnight. Tuesday, partly sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. North winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 50s. North winds up to 10 miles an hour. Wednesday, sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Northwest winds up to 5 miles an hour, becoming northeast in the afternoon. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms until midnight, then showers and thunderstorms likely after midnight. Lows in the mid 60s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Highs 84 to 89. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. At 9 a.m. in Omaha, a thunderstorm was reported, reducing the visibility to a mile. The temperature was 66 degrees, the 2.63, and the relative humidity 90%. The wind was north at 21 miles an hour, gusting to 31. The pressure was 29.72 inches and rising. Across eastern Nebraska and southwest Iowa, temperatures were between 65 and 67 degrees. At Blair Airport, a thunderstorm was reported. Rain was falling at Fremont, Tekema, Nebraska City, in Plattsmouth. At Red Oak, Iowa, fog was reported. It was cloudy at Millard and Columbus. At Lincoln, rain and fog were reported. At Offutt Air Force Base, rain and fog were reported. Here are some observations from across the region. Fog was reported with a temperature of 61 at Grand Island and 51 at Denver. It was sunny with a temperature of 57 at North Platte and 57 at Valentine. It was cloudy with a temperature of 64 at North Fork, 67 at Sioux Falls, 67 at Sioux City, 68 at Kansas City, and 65 at Concordia, Kansas. At Des Moines, drizzle and fog were reported with a temperature of 70. Once again, at 9 a.m. in Omaha, it was 66 degrees with a thunderstorm. The Omaha Metropolitan Area Pollutant Standards Index for today is 37, which represents good air quality, with ozone the main pollutant. The forecast for Tuesday is 36, considered good air quality, with ozone the primary pollutant. The pollen count today for trees was zero. The pollen count for weeds was six, a low count, with ragweed the main pollens. The pollen count for grass was zero. Air pollution forecasts and pollen counts are provided by the Douglas County Health Department. Flash flood information. Flash flood watch remains in effect until noon central daylight time today. The flash flood watch continues for portions of Iowa and Nebraska, including the following areas in Iowa, Fremont, Harrison, Mills, Monona, Montgomery, Page, Pottawatomie, and Shelby. In Nebraska, Burt, Cass, Cumming, Dodge, Douglas, Johnson, Lancaster, Nemaha, Odo, Pawnee, Richardson, Sarpy, Saunders, Thurston, and Washington. Until noon central daylight time today areas of heavy rain expected, with widespread additional amounts ranging from 1 to 3 inches. Locally higher amounts are possible. The heaviest rain is expected along and east of the Missouri River this morning. This will cause rises of streams. If rainfall rates are high enough once the ground becomes saturated, it could lead to flash flooding, especially in urban areas. 
This includes Omaha, Council Bluffs, and Lincoln. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. At 8.23 a.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain continued across most of the warned area. Four to six inches of rain had been reported. Flash flooding may be occurring in some areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Missouri Valley, Logan, Oakland, Avica, Carson, Shelby, Minden, Persia, Woodbine, Neola, Hancock, Portsmouth, Magnolia, Tennant, Farm Creek Public Wildlife Area, Willow Lake Recreation Area, Botna Bend Park, Arrowhead Park, and Historical Village Welcome Center. Turn around. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. In hilly terrain, there are hundreds of low water crossings which are potentially dangerous in heavy rain. Do not attempt to cross flooded roads. Find an alternate route. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Pottawatomie County in southwestern Iowa, eastern Douglas County, until 2 p.m. Flood stage is 18.0 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. Forecast, rise above flood stage by early Tuesday afternoon and continue to rise to near 19.2 feet by Wednesday morning. The river will fall below flood stage by early Friday morning. The following impacts are expected at 20.0 feet, though flooding is already ongoing. This is the level when flooding starts becoming more impactful, especially to agricultural areas. Flood warning information for the following counties in Iowa, Harrison, Mills and Pottawatomie, and the following counties in Nebraska, Burt, Dodge and Washington. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a flood warning for small streams in Monona County, Montgomery County in southwestern Iowa, Mills County in southwestern Iowa, Pottawatomie County in southwestern Iowa, Harrison County in southwestern Iowa, Shelby County in southwestern Iowa, Burt County, Eastern Cumming County in northeastern Nebraska, Washington County, northeastern Dodge County, Thurston County in northeastern Nebraska, until 2.45 p.m. At 8.51 a.m., Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated that heavy rain has fallen and continues to fall over the area. The heavy rain will cause flooding. Rain should end early this afternoon, however flooding will continue until the rain can work through the river systems. Up to three inches of rain have already fallen. Some locations that will experience flooding include Eastern Omaha, Council Bluffs, Blair, Red Oak, Glenwood, Harlan, Onawa, Missouri Valley, Tekema, Logan, Avica, Arlington, Malvern, Trainer, Underwood, Fort Calhoun, Scribner, Lyons, Hunter, and Carson. Stay away or be swept away. River banks and culverts can become unstable and unsafe. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of southwest Iowa, west central Iowa, east central Nebraska, northeast Nebraska, and southeast Nebraska. For today and tonight, showers and a few scattered thunderstorms will continue today. Areas of heavy rain are expected, with additional amounts reaching 1 to 3 inches. Flash flooding is possible, especially in southeast Nebraska and southwest Iowa, 